end with a spectacle from space. It appeared as a fireball seen in several states, including Georgia. Well, in tonight's Weekend Journal, CBS's Dave Malkoff shows us how the extraterrestrial visitor has an extraordinary past. As if fire in the sky over Georgia crashing into a family's roof isn't spectacular enough. We're going to take a, a look here. At Just wait until you see what a shooting star looks like up close. This is the thing I love about these microscopes. Wow, it just changed the color. What I'm seeing is an iridescent brightness shining back at my eyes. The specific chemistry in those minerals does not occur here. You had to have been formed on somebody out in space. Those little black specks in there are older than Earth. They formed as melted droplets in space when the sun was just getting its planets in line more than four and a half billion years ago. You can touch it. Oh, yeah, you can. University of Georgia researcher Scott Harris went to the house and collected the meteorite. The, the pieces that, like the one you're holding there, those stayed within a few um, feet of the crater. So that hole in the guy's floor is technically a crater hit by a supersonic space rock while the mystery man was on a Zoom call. If that Zoom would have been recording. I, yes. <laughs> the homeowner let Harris take these photos, but doesn't want any meteorite hunters or nosy reporters poking around his house. So this thing is traveling through the solar system. It comes through the atmosphere, breaks up, and goes directly to this guy's house. Could not have picked a calmer individual's house. If this box is the man's house, this is how the rock came flying in. These were clean shot holes through the roof, through the attic. There's still debris in their furniture, up on the refrigerator, on the mantle. Months later, they're still picking out dust from the fabric of their sofa. The family is now cutting out these holes in the house on every layer so they can eventually go to a museum for everyone to see. There's also one place where there's almost certainly a little bit of this dust and that's in his lungs. But he's not gonna get any superpowers from that, is he? Well, we, uh, you know, we can hope, right? Dave Malkoff, CBS News at the University of Georgia in Athens.